This is Susan Broder from Speak Languages and Travel the World. Last night I was driving my car when I realized that the tire was flat. Uh, so uh, a gentleman kindly pumped it up for me and I drove it to the local garage, parked it outside because it was late and the garage was closed. And this morning I w walked all the way to the garage to hear if they could change my tires or repair it. Uh, so I took advantage of an early morning walk and happened to walk through town whilst everyone was going to school. Parents were accompanying children, people were going to work and uh, I got into a very embarrassing situation. Have you ever been in an embarrassing situation? Uh, but before I tell you about my embarrassing situation, uh, I'd like you to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can let me know if you're enjoying my videos and if they're useful for you to learn English with. Okay, so what was my embarrassing situation? Since I was a child, I've never seen very well. In fact, you can see I'm wearing glasses. And um, I went to the opticians quite regularly, but um, I never actually started wearing glasses or contact lenses until I was 11 years old. Apparently, I didn't need them beforehand, but I must admit that as soon as I started wearing glasses, um, a whole new world opened up to me. So, I presume this is the reason why I didn't learn to fix facial features in my mind. I can uh, recognize voices very easily, but faces are all a blur to me. Now, this is highly embarrassing because I don't recognize people unless I meet them very, very regularly. And even so, if I meet them out of context, I still don't recognize them. So this morning I was walking past the school and uh, a mum, I presume it's a mum, rode by and said, Hi Susan, how are you? And I put a big smile on my face and said, Oh, hi! And thought to myself, who on earth is that? I have no idea. Then I ended up walking along a secluded road and I, man uh, I met uh, a, a man who smiled and said hi and walked past. But I say hi to anyone I see if it's just uh, me and this other person. So this other person must have realized that I didn't recognize them and shouted back, I'm Jeremiah's uh, dad. Uh, and so I realized who it was. Uh, and uh, so uh, I smiled back, said hi, and apologized, uh, explaining that I have difficulty remembering people. In fact, uh, when I start lessons with a class, the first thing I do is I apologize uh, in advance and say, if I meet you on the street or at the supermarket, don't be offended, I won't recognize you. You have to give me a context. Uh, I'm so-and-so's mom or dad, or um, I'm your student from this and this lesson, from this and this class, because I also teach adults. Uh, it's highly embarrassing and I've got to the point where even when I'm in class I can't remember people's names so I've started taking pictures of the class and labeling each person and looking at them well at home to try and fix their names in my mind uh, so this is helping me a bit but I do feel very very embarrassed uh, what about you do you ever have embarrassing situations I'd love you to write about your embarrassing situations in the comments box. Obviously, in situations you can write about. But um, yes, it would be good for practicing your English even when you're writing. So, I hope you enjoyed this uh, new kind of video where I explain problems I have in life. And uh, please subscribe so we can carry on making more videos. Okay, bye for now. See you in the next one. Bye! Oops, it slipped my mind to ask you how you deal with the embarrassing situations. Uh, I usually solve it quite easily. I apologize and I'm quite honest. Nobody's perfect and I think that's the best way to get out of embarrassing situations. How do you deal with embarrassing situations? I look forward to reading in the comments.
so don't forget to put the answers in the comments box below. bye!